Do you ever get clients that focus on the look and feel when you've asked for them to provide feedback on the content itself? Well, this was a common challenge for us and I want to share what we adjusted in our process to help improve this from our customer's perspective and also from our perspective. So most of our stories, most of our storyboards are created in PowerPoint. We use shapes and text boxes only. So a shape might be a rectangle and that represents a car or we have stick men to represent people. So we avoid any artwork or look and feel elements to our storyboard until the content is actually approved. Now this helps our clients focus purely on the content and intention of the training strategy without getting distracted by the colors and design elements. Any graphic design, which can include UI, look and feel, artwork, templates, marketing collateral, and any other thing that visually engages your end user is done as a separate process with us. Um, and this is to avoid distraction by the storyboarder development process. So as creatives, it's very easy for us to visualize what we are trying to translate to our customer. However, we really need to help them visualize it easier. So for us, it's better to conduct, conduct uh, separate feedback for the graphic design development and storyboarding process and treat them as an individual element of the project that needs to be approved. Once the storyboard and graphic design elements have been approved in their separate processes, we can then move into the development side of things for our solutions. So this helps us avoid an endless cycle of feedback and it's a smoother process for our clients um, and also us. We believe that this has helped us improve our customer relationship throughout the process and the client is really clear on what their role is throughout it, which is a win-win for both them and us. I hope this helps you guys in your craft and as you are trying to improve your processes and therefore the customer relationship with your clients. Let us know in the comments if you have further ideas on how you can improve this um, for the community and for us as well so that we're all improving together. Thanks guys and have a great day.